Churches are full of people. The broken, the lonely, the wanderers, the hopeful, the enthusiastic, the lost, the passionate, and the faithful. For many, this gathering represents the whole of their church experience. They'll listen attentively to a message, they'll sing a few songs, they'll be invited to pray, and then they'll return to their lives. But for some, questions will start bubbling to the surface of their faith. Is this the extent of what Jesus intended for his followers? Who is the church for? Why does the world need the church? And what is the church after all? Well, the church isn't the building where people attend weekly services. It's not a program, a list of rules, or a philosophy. The church isn't a political affiliation, a country club, or a holiday tradition. The church was never intended to be just an assembly of people wearing nice clothes and saying nice things. The church is all the followers of Jesus everywhere. The Greek word for church is the word ekklesia. It's the combination of two words, ek, which means out, and kaleo, meaning called. Thus the church, the ekklesia, means the called out ones. In other words, the church, the collective body of all the followers of Jesus everywhere, is called out by someone for something, for a purpose. The beginning of the book of Acts has Jesus calling his disciples to a task, bringing something called the gospel, the good news, to all the world. And this gospel would go out to all the outsiders, the forgotten, the abandoned, and the excluded. And they, those outsiders, would see and receive that good news as actually good. When Jesus talked about the gospel, it was always in conjunction with something else, something called the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, God's purposes are made apparent. There's justice and righteousness. There's hope for the poor and for the oppressed. And under the kingdom of God, mercy and forgiveness take precedence over bitterness and resentment. Now, people previously deemed to be far from God are brought into his family, adopted as his sons and daughters. And the fullness of the kingdom of God, according to Jesus, is not merely expressed as a way for people to escape an evil world when they die. Rather, the good news of God's kingdom is about the announcement of God's eternity moving into the present world and carrying on into the life to come. The people who belong to Jesus join him in his worldwide restoration project. And the called out ones, the church, are committed to advancing this good news of God's kingdom into the world. Not as a means of helping people avoid the world, but rather to see God's kingdom life being made real here and now. The whole church with the power of the whole gospel for the whole world.